have had a squatter at Palm Rock in Palm Springs. We first noticed something was wrong on January 30th when I found that four cameras had been moved, but I thought they were moved inadvertently by our handyman, Kevin Mills, who was working on the gutters nearby that week. This week, we had some other people come to work on the telephone lines, and they discovered a squatter sleeping on the back patio terrace. He had removed all the cushions, set up a little fort for himself, and mostly didn't damage anything except for a burn hole in a cushion, probably from his meth pipe. Anyway, he got chased out of there, but he said he was coming back for his meth pipe and his shopping cart, and he did return, and he returned more than once. He was gaining entrance either by reaching over and um, unlocking the trash yard gate or by climbing over the fence near the neighbor's back gate, climbing along the top of a wall, holding on to ficus trees, and then dropping himself down by our pool equipment using a ladder, which is shown in one of the photographs near the end of the video. We also saw that he came back again and was sleeping underneath the master desk in a storage compartment that you access through steel doors from the outside. And he got chased out of there again, but then was coming back and living between the ficus trees and the wall on the outside of the property to the west. And again, he left a meth pipe and some other items, including a tent and a bicycle frame. So last night, on the 10th of February, he came back again, this time with a woman. And they were both using our outdoor shower it was about 10.45 or so when uh, they were discovered by the police. Now, Kevin Mills had called the police at 10.38 and 10.39 p.m., and since this was the fourth time they were called, the police showed up very promptly, and they did arrest both people. Uh, she was still showering, and you can see the flashlights on her in one of the video clips. And they had been planning to spend the night again, left a bag full of things on the patio terrace, including a photocopy of his identification card, which is shown at the end of this video. And it's also seen in an inset at the beginning of the video. I have now spoken at length to our neighbor to the south, and we are all on the lookout, and we will be installing more cameras. We already have 19 cameras outside and two in the garage. Unfortunately, the house right next door to us is under construction, and so is the one diagonally across the street and diagonally behind us. So out of five homes that could be keeping a direct watch, three are under construction, one is a second home, and then as noted, I talked to that fifth neighbor who will be keeping an eye out. They also are probably going to install more motion-detecting floodlights. They already have two on the side of the house facing us, uh, mostly for their dog, and, but they don't have one down by the gate on their side of the wall where the guy's coming in. Anyway, since both people were arrested, I now hope this is going to be their last visit.